we already reviewed the Supernova 850 G3, which left a good impression on us. Today, we are looking at the 1000 G3, this family's current flagship model. It's a physically diminutive PSU that offers high performance in every area. By the time we finished testing Evga's Supernova 850 G3, we turned around and put the 1000 watts version on our bench. It's currently the family's highest capacity model, at least until a 1.2 kW or 1.6 kW unit emerges. Evga adopted the new Lead X2 platform quickly, replacing its aging, but still highly competitive, G2 series. Those are the power supplies that helped Evga make a name for itself, and they were followed by even higher efficiency P2 and T2 implementations. Our test results from the Supernova 850 G3 were really good, so we're expecting a lot from this more potent flagship. All G3 units share the same 80 plus gold efficiency certification. Given that Evga didn't go for a higher efficiency level, it is safe to assume we'll see platinum rated P3 and titanium rated T3 lines as well. The Supernova 1000 G3 is fully modular like the other members of this line, and it features a 130mm fan packed into a compact chassis. Seeing a 1kW PSU in a 15cm deep enclosure is truly amazing. Up until now, the smallest 1kW PSU we tested was Silverstone's SD1000P with its 16cm depth and 431 watts per liter power density. But the 1000 G3 changes this, even if we're not always enthusiastic about downsized PSUs. Invariably, they lead to more noise as PCBs are overloaded with hot components that can't be cooled quickly enough. The 850 G3 showed that it isn't a quiet power supply, especially under tough conditions. We can't help but assume the 1000 G3 will fare even worse in the same tests, given higher capacity. In fact, the 130mm fan will have to spin faster to push enough air. And if Evga wants this PSU to survive its 10-year warranty period, the fan profile needs to be aggressive. If you really need a quiet PSU, small dimensions and high capacity don't go particularly well together, even if it features a semi-passive mode. The set of protection features that Superflower builds into this platform is complete except for OCP at plus 12 volts, since this PSU only has a single plus 12 volts rail. An HDB fan is definitely an upgrade over the G2 series double ball bearing one. However, a smaller diameter means that it has to rotate faster in order to move the same amount of air. Again, we marvel at Evga's 10-year warranty. The company was first to offer this on its high-end models, forcing the competition to follow suit. Cezonic recently set the bar even higher, upping its coverage to 12 years on the Prime models. That's crazy to us. We think anything longer than 5 years is a gamble for the companies backing those guarantees, since a PSU's reliability can be hugely affected by the quality of the mains network feeding it with power. On top of that, environmental conditions can easily destroy a PSU. The single plus 12 volts rail can provide the unit's full power on its own with more than 83A of maximum current output. The 5 VSB rail has enough capacity for today's needs as well. All of the cables are long, and the number of key and DPS connectors is sufficient. The distance between the key connectors, on the cables that host more than one, is adequate, too. But we can't say the same for the 4-pin Molex cables where the connectors are installed only 10 cm away from each other. This distance should be at least 13 cm in order to avoid compatibility issues. Finally, Evga was kind enough to provide an FDD adapter in its bundle for anyone who still needs a Berg connector.